Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I want to take you for a walk around a Shore Track Pro Series. This particular unit would be an STW, uh, very similar to our STWCH, which would be the car hauler line, but this would be the STW enclosed cargo series in an eight and a half wide. We'll get to the differences inside. This one's designed more for work, more for a landscaper, uh, commercial contractor. Doesn't have the beaver tail. Uh, doesn't have quite as big a side door etc again designed for a flat floor guy pulling in mowers or uh, someone maybe building a cabinetry along the walls or shelving along the walls wants a flat floor all the way to the back certainly a homeowner could use this one but this is uh this is designed as one of our better uh i can get it in a ramp door but this one we spec with a barn door again ideal uh this one for your contractor same trailer we also stock with a ramp door more for your landscaper so we do a lot of these in the 7 and a 9,900 pound GVW. This one here is a 7,000. We do more of the Vinos is in a 7. Uh, I would call, I don't want to say your entry level contractor because they would probably buy a lesser trailer. But uh, we do the round tops more in the, in the 10,000. So round top 10K more for your heavy duty commercial guy uh, with the heavier running gear. But all these are going to get a few uh, similar features. They all have a setback. Uh, jack on these so instead of being up front, you don't got to worry about hitting your truck tailgate uh, Also, short track does a little A little better finish on them uh, That's got more of a gloss black uh, also has a sealed wiring harness grommeted and uh, Ran in frame rather than a lot of them will just staple it up It's also got a plug holder now. This has a standard seven pin uh, blade style plugs. Notice it's a dual prong connection. So if you bend one of those over time, you still be uh, still be alright. Notice the jack on that's also a zinc setback. It's got a sand foot uh, at the bottom, so you don't sink into your gravel and uh, sand and whatnot. A couple things we really like about this unit. Uh, you know, it's one of the rare trailers nowadays. It seems that uh, has the features and craftsmanship to match. So some will have a nice spec sheet and the craftsmanship's ho-hum. This one here, we like the spec sheet and we also like uh, how they put it together. Uh, pretty good finish quality. Certainly of the brands that we stock in steel would be our nicest. So one thing that the screw, or lack of screws, the screwless sides certainly make this uh, look sharp. Uh, they've got an S-lock corner that gives it a finished uh, corner on each side and then the finished V-nose. It's got the full height two foot stone guard. Uh, some of them have a, a smaller stone guard, but this would be your standard two foot height. And this one's also got three inch uh, trim. So you'll notice going back and then up in the in the A-frame, a three inch rather than a one inch trim. Just gives it a little cleaner appearance. Zoom in there, you also notice there's lags in the trim. Industry standard would be to have trim screws there. So a little bit nicer in how they secure it. You also notice that they trim out the stone guard. This is not always the case. And then they take the time to miter it instead of using uh, 90 degree uh, cuts in the uh, in the A-frame. Aluminum wheels standard. In a 3,500 pound axle, this has a five lug. It's got the newer style Ford adjusting brakes. It's got a 205-75 R15 load range C six ply radial tire. If you do option it to 52s, it'll be a six lug with a 12 inch brake assembly and a load range D eight ply tire. Notice it's also got the matching caps and nuts. This is also now standard with torsion axles instead of spring. Easiest way you can tell, uh, there's no center uh, equalizer there on this. Uh, torsion axles simply uh, independent suspension at each wheel. Uh, there is no attaching parts. Mount straight to the frame, access to additional cross members. Um, basically, uh, torsion would be more like a Cadillac independent suspension at each wheel versus spring would be more like your pickup truck. Uh, if you bounce uh, down into a pothole, your other side's gonna rock and feel it. Torsion's a little bit smoother ride, uh, a little bit more forgiving to the elements. So being a, a barn door, it does have a door hold back. Notice this is a aluminum hold back, not plastic. It also has bullet LED lights standard. For 2021, besides the torsion would be the backup lights. So you've got your traditional stop turn tails, but it's also got backup lights built in as well. It's got bullet LEDs across the top for your markers. 
Uh, another detail we like Flexco uh, on the um, on the doors. Just a little bit nicer hardware. Uh, most use the Chinese hardware that just doesn't seem to work quite as well. I'll go ahead and open up the other door. So fairly simple to secure these, even with one hand. The trailer is eight and a half foot wide, but that would be measured to the outside of the fender flare. Outside of the box is eight four. Uh, you're gonna lose about three to four inches with your wall sheeting and your wall studs. Net wall to wall is about eight foot on your eight and a half foot wide car haulers. Three quarter engineered in the floor, three eighth uh, birch ply on the walls. Now you notice a couple things. One, they run their, their sheeting on verticals with an aluminum H mold. It gives it a much cleaner look than having your traditional uh, Luan, or not, yeah, your Luan strips. And uh, it's much more secure. These are lagged back in place, not gonna have any issues down the road. And you notice uh, there are fender boxes on an eight and a half wide. You will get about uh, nine inch of fender of which I believe seven, seven and a half is gonna be revealed in the inside. A little bit nicer finish on these. They are blasted and then they're painted with your gloss black. Uh, you got your side flow through vents I was talking about earlier. So you got your intake on the front driver's side uh, up high. And then they cross ventilate to the rear passenger side down low. Your RV style door. It's a solid foam filled door. It's got a paddle lock for outside you can lock. And it's also got a deadbolt you can lock from the inside with your keys. It's got 110 residential style switching on your lights. It's also got a side door step well inside the door. Two dome lights are standard equipment. You've got one at the front third and one at the rear third of the trailer. So wall sheeting on these is gonna be a 16 on center. You've got a four foot panel and then you've got two lags in between. If you're gonna put any shelving or E-Track or anything, recommend uh, hitting the verticals every 16 center. Same thing on the floor. Uh, trailer's got 16 on centers on the floor. Another nice detail about Short Track, they put all the wiring around the perimeter and then they junction box the wiring down in the A-frame. Makes it fairly easy if you ever need to chase any wiring or if you ever want to add, uh, you know, add lighting. Uh, all the bows in this and the walls and ceilings are all made from tube. There are no hat posts, Z-posts. Also notice there's a ceiling liner up here. So there's one piece of aluminum roof above and then you've got the ceiling liner and I want to point out little details they do on these they take and put flat on either side so that uh, you know down the road this isn't ever saggy at a seam and cause an issue a lot of little details like that also notice a plywood header at the rear and plywood in the corners as well so you got about 16 foot on this one a square box net you're gonna be about uh, 17 17 and a half foot to the uh, point of the V side door on this is a little smaller than the car hauler model car hauler they do a 48 inch uh, this one here is a 32 inch uh, other little details on these they do the same aluminum door hold back on the rear doors as the side door and uh, also a metal handle a lot of times in the industry you'll see the plastic uh, you got one for the deadbolt and then one for the handle. This trailer is fully undercoated. A couple of the things we like. This is not only a tube tongue, but it's tube all the way back on the trailer. A lot of them will do tube in the tongue and then junior I-beam. I'll show you a couple other details underneath here. So if you've never seen torsion axles, there are no springs on those. They mount straight to the frame and give you two additional cross members. Other little details on Short Track Pro Series, if I can get far enough away. Most manufacturers aren't using a gusset like so. And then you'll notice that on this Short Track, that's all headered up. So that triple tube tongue comes back and all headers uh, with the tubular header and then with your gusset plate. All your wiring again is grommeted and it's all junction box. I can't get to it very easily. And then these outriggers here, a lot of uh, most everybody in the industry uses these form cross members out here, not on short track. These are all made from your tube, not from your form. Big difference there. All your wall load, all your wall load comes down 
on that outrigger, I pointed out it's important, especially for contractors, you put a lot of wall load on there and then you get some snow load mixed in in the winter time. That's a lot of load bearing down on that. Big difference between your tube and your formed on those outriggers. Particularly unit's gonna weigh in right around 3,000 pound empty. So you got 4,000 pound of legal load. Well, you're gonna pick up about 15% or so to your truck side, roughly another 1,000. You can probably scale just under 5,000 um, legally on a trailer like this. If you're gonna get uh, everyday use and you're gonna get more than the 4,000 pound trailer side, think about jumping up to that 10K model that we stock as well. We do this model in different sizes as well. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, call us at 717-220 4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.